Look at those pads. Aren't they just beautiful? Welcome back, everybody, to the goalie be a pro. In the last video, we played very solid in the actual times we jumped in, but the simulation, TJ, did a little iffy. Started out very strong and then tailed off near the end. Today, we will be simulating up to the playoffs, and we can find out whether or not we will be making it. Right now, it looks like we're on pace. I believe we were third in our division, but I sort of want to double check that. I just realized that I never plugged these into the TV. Well, monitor. I don't know why I said TV. <laughs> that just, like, aged me. There we go. That's more like it. We are third in the division, and we're only two points back from Vancouver, so it's a very close race right now for that first spot and on that note we have a divisional matchup here against the Calgary Flames and this is a pretty important one I mean they aren't doing the best but it could still swing things so let's go ahead start the simulation yes please and let's see how we do after one it is oh my word okay simulation TJ still not doing very good surprised we didn't get pulled actually and we're still in for one but I'm not gonna bother jump what the heck is going on also why did I never get pulled there goes our save percentage, just completely out the window. Thankfully, we don't have any challenges at the moment because we would most certainly not be meeting those requirements. So go ahead and sim this one because we are not in 31, 23, and 6. I don't know this game, man. It just makes me so mad sometimes. It doesn't make sense. You're going to need an incredible run in the final stretch of the season if you want the Calder Trophy. Well, joke's on you because I don't want it. I don't care. There's genuinely no reason, though, that our simulation should all of a sudden fall off a cliff. It was good, and then it wasn't. Hopefully, we step our game up here against New Jersey. Nope, they get two goals in the first period on eight shots. <laughs> like, this is just comical at this point. I really am about to lose my mind. And now we have to win three of our next four, because the challenge was three of the next five, and New Jersey just lit us up like a Christmas tree. Jared Spurgeon and Hartman being shipped out, and we have officially passed the trade deadline, and we're about to. Maybe our team will make some moves. Maybe they won't. Let's go to the skill tree and hopefully this will swing our luck and we'll start doing a little bit better, but probably not. What's this one? Recover? Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and spend it there. Any trade deadline acquisitions? Not that I see immediately. Unless Radulov, was he here before? I can't remember. I don't even remember if Cop was here before or not. I genuinely was not paying too much. Oh, wait, hold on. I feel like I'm tripping. Like, was he here before? Is there a news piece or something that I can check all the trades or nah. I suppose I could do this. So Andrew Kopp, let's find out. Yeah, we must have just obtained this guy. So he is a new acquisition. Radulov we had before. So he's been playing the entire season on this team. Apparently Radulov has 60 games played and 35 points in his entire NHL career. That's pretty impressive considering he's 36. Spurgeon is also an acquisition. Yeah, he was still with the Wild. Okay, so that was a big move. I swear I was reading this trade at the bottom there too. And I just didn't clue in that it was with us. Kopp and Spurgeon, two pretty big players to add to the team at the deadline. So we are really trying to make that push apparently Florida killing it right now I think we just took an L to them that's not super surprising and we're in against the Tampa Bay Lightning who are 40 20 and 4 please sim decently all right finally it's about time second period that's not too bad though in fact we could come back from this I'll jump in I feel like I'm so rattled now that I'm even gonna play bad but hopefully it does not translate into my actual game, and we can keep the bad playing to the simulation. Kucherov is in already. He tries to cut to the middle, but our defense shut down that opportunity. I feel like our defense have been playing a very big role in preventing us getting scored on as well. Not so much in the simulation, apparently, but at least when we hop in, they are. Hedman goes in the middle to Stamkos. That will be saved. They are putting up a very scary attack here. Luckily, we were able to get the puck out, though. Stone is in over the line. Passes it. Oh, my word. Nice try. What a hit. That was wild. That will make him think twice about cutting to the middle next time, or it won't, and he'll just continue to do it because he is, after all, an AI and didn't actually feel any pain there. But we're going to make a save with the blocker. Hagel passes it in front. Another save. Another save. Get out of my face, Tampa. There's no way. The Tampa Bay Lightning have Evgeny Malkin as well. Like, did they just add him? Did they trade someone for him? I'm trying to think of who I haven't seen on their team yet. I feel like I've seen Stamkos, Kucherov, Vasilevsky's still there. What a save! Wow, alright. That's cool. What a save as well on this side. Both goalies came out in this third period. 
I thought he was going to get rocked. Blocker, that one aside as well. Now Cousins has it. I'm not going to hug the post because that is a recipe for disaster. Can we please get the puck out? What are you guys doing? Just stop. Stop it. Immediately. We need to get the puck over the blue line. I haven't really been showcasing all the examples, but we have been struggling to get the puck out of our end. They have Patrice Bergeron too? What is this hockey team? Bergeron. Speaking of, he's going to get robbed. Another save. Tampa's putting up a lot of chances here. And you know what? We are standing up to it. I like it. We're rising to the challenge. What even happened there? Radulov gets credit for the goal. I think Vasilevsky went to pass it out and it just went sour. So I'm very happy to know I'm not the only goalie that that happens to. Let's see though. Patches picked it up. Let's go. Likely one of the weaker shots I've ever seen in my life. And then Vaz, yeah, for some reason he decides, hey, I'm going to play that out. Goes right off of Chernak's. All right, we take that all day long. It is a one goal hockey game. I'm already anticipating that there's going to be comments left, right, and center saying to play the whole game so that the simulation doesn't do its thing, but it's just, I've tried it in the past. It does not work. It's not a thing that I'm going to try again. We will just have to hope that the simulation is nice to us eventually, and we will have to get our overall better because that's the only way that we will simulate as a solid goaltender. But until then, there's always the chance that we're going to be stinky. 326 remaining. The Tampa Bay Lightning have a power play. Things are not looking good here for the Golden Knights. Big draw win though by Cop. That will be sent down and be a very good start to this PK. If someone wants to go and get a shorthanded goal, I mean, I wouldn't complain or anything. Petrangelo sends it down the ice yet again. That is almost a minute killed off of this PK already. Big headman pass to Stamkos. Oh no. Oh no, there's two of them. That stopped. And they get possession of it again. Oh my word. This is scary. This is actually terrifying. Thank you, Alex. Oh my days. Great defense. Slide over. We're still good. We're still good. Everything's fine. Everything's all right. Cop sends it down the ice and that will be it. We killed it. Coach is refusing to pull me, which might be a good thing because Stam Coach just got it and entered our zone. Oh no. See, this is what I'm talking about. We got to get rid of the puck, guys. Stop playing with it. Get it out of our zone, and everything will... Well, I shouldn't make a promise that everything will go well, because that definitely not a guarantee. Things could still go sour, but there's a better chance that things go well if we get it out of our zone, because they won't score at least. Unless I Vesa Toskala this thing and skips on me, finds its way in the back of the net from their zone. It was Toskala, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm just trying to recall now. I sort of feel like this has to be a bug. They won't pull me, no matter what. It's a one-goal game. The puck is in... The other team zone, we had possession of it. And Coach is still just saying, nope, you can stay in there. Here comes Cooch. Gets one final shot. That will be gloved. I'll pass it out for now to Alex, who makes a risky pass to Theodore right beside him. All right, we took an L, but I'm not upset with how we played. They had 34 shots. Both goalies played phenomenal. Hey, we met the overall expectation. I had my guy. What's going on, Alex? Are we going to talk about your inability to get the puck out of the zone? Want to check for some flora? What is this? I have no idea what that is. We're going to the botanical garden. This is another language to me. Robin Leonard is carrying the squad right now. I mean, like I said, we're playing good when we actually jump in. But the simulation has been doing us dirty recently. All right, Philly, 26th in the league. Let's see what you got for me. That's a great start. Patch is going to score on Katahat with only four shots as well. Nice. 3-1. Sure, we'll hop into this one. That challenge? Sorry, objective. Same thing. Kind of. Not really. But anyway, not going to happen. Unless we win three straight. Which I suppose is possible. But I would like to say unlikely. We're in a good spot to win this one. And if we do so, then we just have to win the next two starts. So that is achievable, actually. It doesn't sound so bad when you put it that way. However, I will not get ahead of myself. This is not a W yet. We have the two-goal lead, but that can disappear in the blink of an eye. A scrap? Yeah, Cam Atkinson came across the middle, got rocked. He's Hoyt. And now Provorov and Stone going at it. That's a trade-off that... I oh! Oh my word, we're fighting! Yeah! I don't know how that happened, but I'm here for it. Carter wants to go. Oh, he caught me. This is this is TJ's first fight. I, we can't lose our first one. Yeah, take that. You can't even see the health bar, though, because there's another scrap going on. Will it transition over? Big dodge. Two big dodges. 
Carter, my guy. I'm trying to hook him. And no, it will not happen. But I will tackle him to the ice. It looks like Stone won. What a night for the Golden Knights. The Flyers are in. That will be stopped. And we control the rebound. Thank you for being there. I appreciate you. I feel like that's something that in NHL 22, the defense failed to do a lot of the time. Big save by Carter who passes it out. I'm really struggling to speak today, by the way. Again, it might not really come across in the edit, but holy smokes, am I having a tough time. English is hard. What are you going to do? Here's Ellis. Passes it in the middle to Hayes. That will be denied by TJ, and they are still in the attack. Oh, my word. <laughs> what a glove save. That was a great scoring opportunity for the Flyers, and they blew it. Actually, no. I'm going to give myself credit. They didn't blow it. I just took it away from them. E. All right. That worked. Spurgeon with it. The new Golden Knight. Yeah, we definitely are going for it by the looks of it. The GM making two huge acquisitions at the trade deadline means that the Golden Knights are going for gold. The only thing that kind of sucks is that I will not be the playoff starter. There's no shot. It's going to be Robin. We might get to see some time, maybe one game, depending but it's unlikely. I suppose there's always the chance that Robin Leonard gets hurt or something as well, so gotta consider that. Although I have been giving our team a tough time for not getting the puck out, I will say that they've been doing amazing at controlling rebounds and being where they're supposed to, so they're helping me out big time. I can't complain too much. And speaking of helping me out, hopefully they do so here. That was a very, very weak goal. Really, Frank? You're gonna do me dirty like that. Mans did me dirtier than the simulation engine. And just like that, it's a one-goal game. What a save. Nice try, Joel. They went for it. They really did try. So far, the only goal that I've seen our team score in the actual jumping-in games was an own goal from the other team. What I'm subtly trying to get at here is we need to start generating some offense, lads. What's going on? Come on. There's no way. No, if he... I thought he was going to score, honestly. Every shot they take at this point now, I just assume it's going to be a goal because when it rains, it pours. There's simply no way. Like, no thank you. I probably should have dropped a butterfly sooner, but holy smokes, man. That is just brutal. Coach asked us to win three of the next five games, and we go on a three-game losing streak. That last goal was definitely my fault. As I said, I should have dropped a butterfly sooner. I just didn't really know what was going on. There was a battle in front of the net, and yeah, didn't do it, but should have. This third goal... I don't know about that one. That was just a low overall goalie, I would say, because my positioning, I feel like, was all right. I got a piece of it with the blocker, and it just went up and over. They ended up with just 31 shots as well. I mean, we only had 18 and had three goals, so both goalies, not a great showing. And we're going to have to have a meeting with the coach now. Oh, boy. Robin Leonard is doing work because our record is staying afloat even though I'm playing miserable. So we do have a pretty decent chunk of the season left. I'm going to simulate this full game here against the Blue Jackets, who are also doing quite well. They are 10th in the league. First period. It's not the worst. Second period. Okay. And... I don't like this game, guys. I also love the fact that the coach still hasn't spoken to us, even though we cannot complete the challenge anymore. He's like, yeah, I told you to win three of the next five. You still have one game left. And we are in against the Edmonton Oilers, who are 33, 33, and 8. Let's go ahead and simulate the first period. All right. We get scored on. Shorthanded. Splendid. Second period. Yup. Yamamoto. And... Okay. Amazing. Can we score some goals, please, guys? Like, what's happening? Win three of the next five, and we lose five in a row. <laughs> I'm sorry, coach. Can't all be put on me, though. I mean, some of those losses, for sure. Definitely my bad. But I feel like the last two games that I just simulated, we got shut out both of those. So, I mean... Oh, no. There's a chance we don't make the playoffs here. In fact, I feel like it's a pretty decent chance at that. If we keep losing like this... 37, 32, and 7? Guys, we suck. How many games is that in a row? So, we lost two back-to-back -to, -back to the Wild. 4-1. And then... Oh, my word. We're on a 1-2... Three, six game losing streak. <laughs> and they put us in net against the Smashville Predators who score in the first period, score another one in the second period. I might jump into this one. Let's go ahead and start the simulation and do a little bit of the game here. See if they score. They, oh, we score. All right, now I'm jumping in. I can 100% see us missing the playoffs. It's just gonna happen. It always does, you know, the worst case scenario. 
and it just always unfolds that way in this game. All right, fine, not always, but I would say that the chances are pretty good. As I said though, I wouldn't have been the playoff starter, so doesn't really affect me either way, whether we do or do not make... Okay, what a collapse. I played so well in that first game and now I might as well be a ghost. There we go. <laughs> okay, okay, come on, dude. There is no shot. Absolutely no way that that just occurred. Look at this. Tolvanen gets the puck. He shoots it. That's the easiest save in the world. It's literally right there. All right? So simple, right? Nope, of course not. We're gonna yeet it into the net backwards. <laughs> this is just comical. I'm genuinely rage quitting, I can't be asked. We're now 21st in the league, what a joke. Yeah, I'm just gonna sim the rest of the year and I'm imagining we will not be making the playoffs. Yep, we failed to qualify. You love to see it. Wait, hold on, we did make it? How did that happen? We must have just snuck in because our record was atrocious. We're gonna be the backup, as I said. Yeah, we have the Calgary Flames. We finished 19th in the league and somehow got in. That seems unfair. 39, 36, and seven. How? Our division is brutal. Florida got the President's Trophy, 121 points. They absolutely dominated. Our offense, not really great. 65 points from Patches and Eichel. They led the team. Stone had 62. I expect more from you guys. TJ, six, 12, and two with an 888. That was not what I saw coming at the start of the year. We were doing so well, and then we just were not. Robin Leonard did all right with a 913 save percentage. 33, 25, and 5. Four shutouts. Yeah, okay. All right, fair enough, Robin. Sorokin led the league with 46 Ws. He had a 920 save percentage. A defenseman, we had John Carlson, 77 points. He did all right. Fox had 70, and Doughty a nice amount. Nobody broke 100 this year. Marner had 97 points. He led the league. OV 52 tucks and 92 points. Looks like he won himself the Rocket Richard. So you know what? I'm going to call it there. We will simulate the playoffs in the next video and likely break into the next season because I don't imagine we'll start any playoff games, but you never know. It could happen, I suppose. We also got to get our act together here because I started out strong and I feel like that's always the way and I'd rather it be the opposite. I'd rather start terrible and finish strong. So hopefully we can, if nothing else, reverse the two. Ideally, we want to be good the whole video, duh, but... If I had to play bad one game, I'd rather be the first one. Well, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video where we take on the Calgary Flames. It, well, I shouldn't say that because we're probably going to do the whole playoff. So we're not just going to be taking on the Calgary Flames. Unless Robin Leonard goes down in game one with an injury or something. So I'll just, you know what? We're going to do something in the next video. I can promise you that. Something will happen. I will see you soon.